Western banded geckos are the American cousin of leopard geckos. But why should I get one, you ask? Well, here's why. They are just like leopard geckos when it comes to behavior and appearance, but smaller, which therefore means smaller enclosures. From what I've seen, a western band gecko is also cheaper than some leopard geckos out there, but that depends on the breeder and such. Now, let's get into the animals themselves and care. Size and appearance. They are smaller than leopard geckos, maxing out at around 4-5 to five inches in my experience. They have incredibly similar patterns to a normal morph leopard gecko, however, one con is that they do not have as many color variations as leopard geckos, but I do expect to see more in the coming years as these guys hopefully get the recognition that they deserve. They also possess incredibly small, smooth scales and lack the bumps that leopard geckos have. Behavior. Again, in my experience, my geckos are relatively skittish and do not like being handled, but that mostly has to do with the fact that they are wild caught and I do not handle them that much, if at all. With most reptiles though, Handleability is heavily affected by how much you handle them and whether or not those experiences are positive or negative for the lizard. Care. You can house them together in a 10 gallon aquarium or the plastic tub equivalent. The females can live together and with the males just fine, but do not ever house males together as they are aggressive towards each other. I would recommend keeping a pair of females in a 10 gallon aquarium as that's what I do and I have no issues. Anymore and I would say that it's a little crowded in their habitat it commonly exceeds 100 degrees, but these guys are typically out at night, so it's best to give them cooler temperatures around 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, with a temperature gradient in a hot spot, of course, and humidity of around 20 to 60 percent. However, these guys live in a place where there's little to no humidity, so if you have a humidity box, they should be just fine. I would recommend at least three hides, one on the cool side, one on the warm side, and one on the humidity side, just like leopard geckos but add more with each gecko in the enclosure, obviously. The enclosure doesn't necessarily need to be all desert looking, but I would recommend it. As long as the temp uh, temperature and humidity are just fine and they have ample places to hide, they should just be fine. I personally feed my adults four crickets every other day with variation in the feeder insect every once in a while to provide nutrition and enrichment. I feed the hatchlings around four to six fruit flies every day. Availability. Another con is that these guys are relatively hard to find captive bred or wild caught. I intend on breeding them in the future and may have some individuals for sale in the coming months, but for now, the best option is probably Josh's frogs, although they usually are out of stock. That is all I have to say about these beautiful little creatures. Be sure you do your own research though, as I'm not an expert and I'm only 15. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video. If you would like to see more reptile content, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.